Our new property has a lot of grass that needs to be mowed. So Lisa and I have decided we're going to share responsibility. We're going to be doing the mowing on this property. We're going to get a couple of runner mowers and we're going to get it done. So we have a garden maintenance person. He dropped him off and he said he'll be back in about 30 minutes. So he's going to be about half an hour, so we have to wait till he's here to show us how to use them. We could wait for him to return, but how hard could it be? Like driving a car, probably. Easier than driving a car. I mean, we can't stuff it up that much. Well, let's hope so for my sake. <laughs> oh my god, a little spot for the beer. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. How'd you do that? Sick! Is this like a... Is this the break? Oh, yeah. Chi, chi Wait, Chi Chi, wait. Oh, we going? Wait, how do I even... And we're off. Wait, how did he get it off? I'll be back. How did you even get it started? Turn the key. This is so stupid. They've given me a dud. I think there's something wrong with this one. Push the brake down, babe. This one? Yeah. Push it all the way. Turn the key. Jess is circling me like a shark, like she's Mr. Jim's mowing herself. <laughs> what are you doing? It's not that hard. I could have mowed the whole lawn before Lisa even figured out where the turnkey was. Push the brake down and I turn am. the key. And then what do I do? Put it. You have it. No, you're not pushing the brake hard enough. My mower sounds like it's dying. What do I do once I turn the key? OK, you're not pushing the brake hard enough, otherwise it would be over. I am. If you want something done right, you've just got to do it yourself. Okay. Hold on. We'll switch. Let's switch. Try try this one. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, well, I don't even know. I, I swear it's not me. There's something wrong with it. And then what happened? What the hell? I've been tricked. I just thought she was being dramatic. Whoa. I'm coming for you! This is the life we signed up for, Lee. This is it. This is the good life. If all housework was this fun... Are we done here? Yeah. Who knew a hoe that can mow? It's demolition day here at the house and I've been waiting for this moment. I'm very excited. Uh, we've been sleeping in the shed for about 10 days in anticipation. They're ripping out all the walls, all the shelves, everything's going, the carpet's coming up. And Lisa's got to get to take out all of her aggression with a sledgehammer and tearing down the carpet. I think I'll be a natural, what do you think? I think you're a killer. Yeah, ripping down walls, and shelves. This is the reason I've been sleeping in a shed for 10 days. Particle board, not fit for Veronica, come on. Logan's made best friends with the guys working on the house, so he's learning all sorts of new skills. He's also really gotten into this Japanese wood burning technique called shoshugi ban. So he's got this massive blowtorch and he's burning everything he can get his hands on. The volume of wood in the home as well Sometimes too much wood can be even bigger. Would it be smarter for us to do some type of metal above our heads, or would it be smarter just to keep it wood? So your head, you guys are lying in bed. Yeah. I this would is... rather have nothing above your head. When you're sleeping and we're expelling our air and we're getting rid of the energy of the day, it's just going to sit there and come back and sit there and come back and sit. We want it to go. No. Jess actually found this house and she immediately wanted this room. She chose it. This was her space. This is me. This is, we're not getting a house unless this is sort of the way it is. And I think sometimes by choosing this space, it's actually meant to, rather than maybe the idea was, I'm going to have my own little house within a house, maybe the real reason that she was drawn to this room is that it's meant to connect her back to family. How beautiful is that? And she might not have realized that at the time that she chose it. 
you're wanting to have a child very soon, it's yep. going to present itself. Well, so, Logan did announce to me this morning. Suggesting. <laughs> he he announced to me, let's have a baby. <laughs> While these renovations are going to take a little longer for us to feel comfortable, it is giving us the opportunity to create our dream house. Hey, hey. babes. Hi, babes. Good morning. Oh, Daddy. my bishop. Oh, my buggy. She's oh my God, been up already. with us. Yes, she's been up with us, hanging out. She ran out. What time did you guys get up? If there's only one thing you ever need to know about me, it's that I need light to wake up in the mornings. Oh my God, we've been up for ages, like six. six, yeah. My room gets no light in the mornings and it's been so difficult to wake up. I thought it was about 3 a.m. when we just woke up there and it's eight o'clock. Oh yeah, you, yeah, you've been waking up really late. No, I seriously haven't been able to wake just up. Just not you. I can't wake up. No, I have a headache. I've had a headache every morning I've woken up in my room. I just can't get any light. It's because it's it comes from over here. I didn't realise that when we got the house, so I don't get anything in well, there. Well, we would never have known. It's just because, can we show you? We've just put in a new window. Wow. <gasps> this looks so different, you guys. It looks so much bigger. What is it, baby? Wow, it was a mosquito, babe. It was trying to eat me. Mm -hmm. Wow! So we put in all these new windows, so that means we're, we get in the morning sun. And then this is our bathroom extension. So we're wow. gonna have a big bathtub here. I mean, you know, we had to build the extension because there wasn't, like, even when we knocked out all the walls, there wasn't anywhere to put the bathroom. Yeah. But um, this is absolutely massive. I would feel so much better. It wow. looks completely different, hey? Like, beyond. You wouldn't even know it was the same house. It looks a lot bigger. It's such a relief to see the renovations taking shape, knowing that it's all kind of coming together and working. Because so much of this is being done on the fly, it's great that it's all working out. My room is a bloody dungeon. I'm not kidding. It's my personal hell. I think the only fair solution is to suggest that some of the budget that I allocated from my money for her renovations should sort of be halved and now put into my renovations. Because she's literally gonna be in a palace now and I'm in a dungeon and that's not fair. I was thinking- I'm sorry, but like- Maybe you could just like, what if we save money on some of the stuff from your room? So what if we didn't do, you know how you wanted like to replace- what? Well, you know how you wanted to replace that that door there with a another door? What if we just kept that door as it is? That's the room you wanted, Chi Chi. Well, I don't want it anymore. Well, that's the reason you we... You can have that room if you want. Uh, I'll no, take that I'm room. I'm really happy with my room, thank you very much. I took the risk by saying I'm yes sure to you that are. part of the house. You got your freaking room, the one you wanted. Babe, no, there's no way. I hate it. Oh, I'm sorry. And I hate you! Oh. You're acting a bit extreme. So, bug, come, come, come. I'm going to my cave. We're the ones renovating, but by default, we're sort of in her space, in her bathroom so much that she's had no privacy. I think it's all becoming a bit much for her. I'm gonna come sleep with you. Be friends. What do you do when you get a new house? You have a housewarming party. So we're getting ready for the housewarming party and we're so excited for our friends and family to come over and see the house for the first time. Yeah. I often I get asked if I'm and looking Europe. and I have to double okay, take sorry. which one's which. I get asked quite frequently if I'm quote unquote your older sister. Oh. Poor Brianna. When me and Brianna oh, were dating, we would make up. out at clubs. And people would come up and be like, we're making They'd out together. all over it. That's dating. why those ancestral rooms were out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, bug. This is a $15,000 dress. <laughs> I decided, buy a new house, get a puppy. And it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Oh my she knows God. no. Is she biting it? <laughs> So I drove two hours to go and meet her, and as soon as I saw her, 
She ran up and I picked her up and I knew that she was my little soulmate. I knew that she was meant to be with me. Honey. What is it? Oh. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no. He's just. No. I cannot freaking believe it. Holy shit, it's massive. Are they poisonous? Don't touch it. Baby, don't. Oh my god, don't touch it. I heard this gut wrenching scream and I thought, oh, Lucy's home. You cannot touch it. I'm Honey, trying. shit will kill you out here. No, I don't think it will kill you. Shit will kill you out here, Lloyd. We need like a jar or something. So Lisa and the whole um, arachnid thing, it's, it's gonna be an issue. Shh. Get a jar or something. Just pick it up. Boom, okay. he's moving. Oh my okay. god, it's freaking massive. I am not sleeping here tonight. I am not gonna sleep here tonight, baby. Okay, 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 okay. I'm so sick. I got him, I got him. Oh Whoa! Ah! He's out. He's out. Just pick it up. Great job. Who knows how poisonous this spider could be? It was just a huntsman, though. Not poisonous at all. It actually gets your blood going. I, I literally, my entire life is this. Did you see that, babe? Oh, babe. It's all it is. I'm not stepping foot in that room. I don't have to, though. <laughs> Saying I was going to come running, but I thought it was all under control. Did you get rid of it? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about a spider, darling. I'll be worried about snakes under your feet. Living in the bush now. I need a drink. Hi, gorgeous. I'm sorry. Hi, Daddy. Oh, bless you. Hi. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> Housewalking is really fun. We whipped up fairy lights up the trees. I mean, we didn't, but we got a guy to whip up fairy lights up the trees. We just want everybody to come and be able to sort of chill out, have a barbecue and a really good time. So traditionally, there's an Aussie barbecue, but Logue has this awesome idea. Hey, bud. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's everything oh, yeah. shaking? So good. Man, yeah. Now looking cooked. Yeah, they're getting there. You better not poison me. Yeah. I'll send the whole party home with dysentery. <laughs> What's in between them? Pineapple? Pineapple, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sarah Glover did our wedding, and um, she loves to cook on open fires, and so do we in LA, but we don't have any iron skillets because they're hard to come by here. So we thought we would just hang them from a string and let them just smoke, and uh, let's see if it's a success. Tim's on duty, hopefully he can help me out. I think it might be dry. Is it gonna be bad? Yeah. I mean, they look good, they're dripping. Except for this one, it kind of looks like a turd. <laughs> what is that? It's just the one that's hanging off. You look like a turd? It looks like a turd. Logie's not really a good old-fashioned barbecue kind of guy. He's like a good old open flame grill kind of guy. I think they're almost done in the back. Are, is people hungry? Is this why people are asking? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm, I'm learning about cooking over a fire. This one looks good. I think what we should do is we should drop them down yeah, before we do them. Awesome. Yeah, we should. Flame under it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know, were you in the Boy Scouts? Um, look, I did two weeks of Sea Scouts, actually, and I'm wading out into the fucking water. I'm not wading. Fuck. Any... <sighs> Tim, I mean, he needs to have a better handle on his sausage. I will give you a gift and you give back something in return. So Logan's a very spiritual soul and he loves to give people readings. His preferred form of divination is runes. He has his own set that he carved up himself. It basically tells your fortune much like tarot, but um, it's a little bit more straightforward. Like you know, you know that you're going to do honor towards yeah. your bloodline, your actual physical bloodline. <laughs> Kai playing at the end of the night was the perfect way to bring everyone together and wrap things up. He is incredibly talented. It blows me away every time. I love sitting right at his feet and listening to every word because no performance 
is ever really the same. Just you get something special every time. We want to raise a toast. Jess and I are so thrilled that you could all be here to celebrate with us. Um, it's been a hard couple of years. There were things that happened that separated the two of us and a lot that's happened the last six months that have brought us back together. And to have this house together is really special. It's pretty wild that we're going to be living under the same roof. We chose to do this. <laughs> it was a conscious decision. So we don't know what we're doing, but whatever it is, we're doing it together. So cheers. 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 <laughs> the night was really perfect. It meant a lot to have our friends and family there to celebrate this new chapter with us. We toasted to truth and love because that's what brought Lisa and I to this moment and this new life that we're about to embark on. It was just forgiveness, truth and love. And I can't wait to see what's in store.